Welcome to the topic where we highlight Houston Community College, our students, our programs, and our reach into the community. I'm Todd Duplantis. When it comes to doing business, success is often dependent on location, location, location. Helping clients secure a great business location for great terms is the job of Crescent Associates. Connie Rankin joins us this morning to uh, tell us about how your company works and then how HCC helped launch you. Well, I started the company back in 2001, and after working for PM Realty Group for 20 years, so I was on the landlord side, right. so this was totally different for me because I decided to switch over, as they say, to the dark side, sure. That's what they, yeah. to represent tenants. To clients, right. For clients, right. businesses looking for space. To be honest, I didn't have a clue. I mean, I kept thinking like the landlord, and I yeah. kept going, no, no, there's something wrong here, and, uh, and I didn't know how to run a business either. I worked for a major corporation. HCC was just instrumental in helping me as far as do business plans, you right. know, the different classes that I took. And I thought, oh, okay, this is what it looks like. And so the uh, first couple of years that I was in business, you know, my income was really low, the revenue. And after I went through the business plan mm -hmm. competition, uh, we were named the fastest growing woman owned company. Wow. So it was, uh, we more than tripled our, our revenue. So Amazing. it was, uh, it's funny once you know what yeah. to do, it just sort of falls in place. So does your company kind of work as a, as a realtor for clients yes. looking to open a business? Yes. So in, in basic terms. Yeah, in basic terms, we help clients find office okay. space, uh, negotiate the terms, right. um, find the best location. As I say, we help you find the best location at the best price. And then we also negotiate lease renewals. Because a lot of time, most if you're not in real estate, you don't yep. know what the market rate is. And so the landlord will come and say, oh, we'll just keep your rate the same, but the rate may have, may have dropped a dollar sure. a square foot. So that's where brokers come into play. And what are the, the first mistakes that people make in wanting to get their business launched and finding a location? I would say, as a, when I was a landlord, mm -hmm. uh, is not having re representation. Okay. They, they only focus on the rental rate. There's so much more to a lease. There's a, in a, a, a just for instance, there's a lease, a, a clause in the lease that has a relocation option. Well, you may have selected that building because you love that particular location right. of that space, well, the landlord can relocate you Wow! within the building now. Yeah, yeah. So, it, so it's you could pretty, go from the first floor up to the fourth right. floor. That's right, yeah. Or yeah you which could, could drastically to, affect your business if you've well, got a store or something. You could be on the lost. ninth floor and yeah. they put you on the first floor and you like the scene, yeah. to, the scenery to be able to see downtown Houston. So there's a lot of different things in the lease. That, now, you, you said you learned how to write a, a marketing plan and a business plan and that helped you in other endeavors. I understand you wrote a book too. Yeah, it's just, you know, people were so surprised. Yeah. They go, Connie, how did you know how to do this? And I said, well, I actually went through the, the business plan competition Competition. It's very similar. You have to do a marketing plan. Mm -hmm. You have to do research. You have to determine if your, your book is even marketable. If someone would even want to read your book. Or right. is there a book out there like the one that you're talking about? So there's a lot of different similarities. It's, so it, it's still a business. It's still a business. Sure. You, know, you, you want people to buy your book. So I was one of the lucky ones that I got a uh, literary agent the first time out. You know, wow. a top it's literary almost unheard agent. Of so, yeah, it's, yeah. It, yeah, it's unheard of. So, yeah, and I contribute a lot of it to that that uh, that book uh, plan, marketing plan that I did. Your book itself. Tell us briefly about the book and what it what it entails. Well, the book is called God Gave Us Wings, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's about ten women how they went from survive, thrive, and then paid it forward. Okay. And they're all in their own right very successful. One of the women in the book, and, and every time I go out and speak, this is where everybody wants to. Do, Oprah is in the book, and so I got to meet Oprah when wow. she was in Houston. You know, and I told her about it. It was just a concept at the time, and I told Oprah about the book, and she was like, now what is it called? Why are you writing it? And so I, I think the buzzword that Oprah liked was it was to empower women. Absolutely. And so she really liked that idea, so she agreed to, uh, for me to put her uh, story. She didn't, she didn't give an interview, so I had to research, but that's where the business plan I, taught Came me how to research. Connie Rankin, thanks for joining us thank today you. on The Topic. Good luck with your book oh, and your thank venture. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on The Topic. If you'd like more information on the Small Business Plan Competition, you can, lo you can log on to hccs.edu slash small business. For The Topic and HCC TV, I'm Todd Duplantis. I'll see you next time.